In some cases, we can deduce a number of useful properties of eigenvalue problems before solving them explicitly. We can, for example, see that the eigenvalues are positive. This is useful because then we know we only need to look for positive eigenvalues. Or we can show that the eigenfunctions are orthogonal, which is also nice because then we do not have to show this anymore after computing them explicitly. So how can we find these properties if we do not even have the explicit numbers and functions? That is what you will learn in this video. Take for example the following boundary value problem. We have y double plus lambda y equals zero, and at zero and one, our y equals zero. Then we use the following inner product. If we have two functions u and v, we define the inner product, take the product and integrate from zero to one with respect to x. This is what we are going to use. So we use the following trick. Uh, what do we do? First, we look at the eigenvalues. So we bring the lambda y to the other side. So we have y double equals minus lambda times y. And then we multiply on both sides with y and integrate from 0 to 1. So we multiply with y, integrate from 0 to 1, and here as well. Then we leave the right hand side as it is. And for the left hand side, we're going to use integration by parts as follows. So y double y. Integrate the y double and leave the y gives us a y prime times y between 0 and 1 minus the y prime times the derivative of what we left, y. So that becomes y prime, so we get a y prime squared here. So that's the integration by part step. Then this term here equals 0 because there we have a y at 0 and a y at 1. Those are both 0, so this means that this term drops out. So we are left with uh, minus this integral over here, which is uh, a negative number due to the minus sign, the integral is itself is positive, equals minus lambda times this integral over here. So we can solve for lambda. So there we have our lambda, which is the quotient of two integrals. However, both of these integrals are positive, because in the numerator we have y prime squared, which, which is a positive number, after integration still positive, and in the denominator we have y squared, which is positive, and after the integration is still positive. So we do not know what uh, lambda is, because we do not know what the y is yet. However, we do know that lambda is positive. We can use a similar trick to sh show that the eigenfunctions are uh, mutually orthogonal. We do it as follows. So take two eigenfunctions, phi m and phi n, so we know phi m double equals minus lambda m times phi m, and phi n double equals minus lambda n times phi n. Then we uh, integrate, the f uh, we multiply the first equation by phi n and integrate from 0 to 1, that's what's happening over here, and the second equation we multiply by phi m and integrate from 0 to 1. And then you see uh, here the right hand sides. So what we are going to do, we take now the difference of the two. So the, <coughs> the first equation minus second. Now on the right hand side, they are, they are all almost the same. They both have this inner product of phi m and phi n that's coming over here. And the only difference is that the, uh, the first one has a lambda m and the other one has a lambda n. So we get as a difference a lambda m times lambda n, which is the difference between those two integrals. And now we are going to show that the, uh, the right hand side over here, this one, equals zero by using integration by parts. So integration by parts on the first one, integrate the phi double gives a phi prime times phi between zero and one minus the phi m prime times the derivative of phi n over here. So that's the first term integrated by parts. Then we integrate the second term by parts as well. Now we integrate the phi n prime gives a phi n double gives us a phi n prime times phi m between the boundaries. And now minus, uh, with this additional minus gives a plus, the integral from 0 to 1, phi n prime, phi n prime. And now you see that these three two integrals exactly cancel out. We are left with the boundary terms. However, 
the eigenvalues, uh, the eigenfunctions solve the eigenvalue uh, problem, so they also satisfy these boundary conditions over here. And that means that these uh, terms over here are both zero, because phi of phi n of zero equals zero, phi n at one equals zero, and also for phi n. So that means that the entire right-hand side drops out, which means that we are only left with uh, lambda m minus lambda n times this inner product between phi m and phi n equals zero. And that means either the eigenvalues are the same, uh, so for m equals n, or if the eigenvalues are not the same, that means that the inner product between phi m and phi n equals zero. So that means if you have different eigenvalues, then your eigenvalues, uh, then your eigenfunctions are mutually orthogonal.